Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Crime and Justice. Right. Oh, God, my stomach is playing up big time today. Just had a glass of milk. See if that will settle me. I was supposed to do a live at six today on another case, but I was sleeping nearly all afternoon. And I woke up about five, five thirty. I thought, yeah, yeah. Yeah, about five o'clock I woke up. Yeah, can't do it. Can't do it. I, even my coffee I was drinking. I've had two coffees today. One this morning and one when I woke up this afternoon. And I'm not tasting right. So, I thought, yeah, I'm not doing my live thing. I'll leave that one for the other day. I will do that one, but not today. Right. At least this one, right, with the other one, it was a lot of talking and a lot of reading and going through files and things like that, you know what I mean? This one isn't. This one is, yeah, we all know we all like Stefan Stearns, don't we? We like him, really. <clears throat> Give me a bucket. Right? This has got to be their biggest humiliation for any guy. It really has. And I don't feel sorry for it one bit. I don't. I really don't. And after watching and listening to that interview last night with Jen, I love that detective. He was really hammering it in on her. All her inconsistencies, the fact that They've just sat there and showed her photos of Stefan with her daughter. A photo of her daughter in a car where she looked like she was unalived. Right? And she comes out of that interview. And what does she do? Oh, she phones Stefan's father up and tells him to get an attorney for him. Because he's been... Uh... Grooming her daughter for two years. Love, it goes back to four years, even more, I'd say. And I said, don't think your daughter is the only child. I really don't. I think there's other children. And then in that interview yesterday, she said, well, there was one where we had, um, but she wasn't a child. And I'm like, okay, I'm sitting there listening, like everyone else. She said, she was 15 and he was 19. That's a child! Oh my God, 15 is still a child. 15, you cannot consent to anything. You don't know what you're consent. You just think it's a, oh, I love him. You know what I mean? But it's not consent. It's R-A-P-E. I think, is this woman? Last night, I'm sitting here listening to him. I'm thinking, is this woman? Got all her brain cells together. Has she? Has she was still... Sticking up for that vile piece of S H I T, P O S, I should say. So, tonight we're watching the video of when he gets questioned again. This is on the Wednesday after Madeline went missing, was reported missing. And this is the same day he gets arrested. Right? Now, as I said, I was going to try and I'll have to find that interview and do some bit of editing on it and whatever. So I will find it, I will do it, and we can listen to the interview with Jen Soto as well. But the be the never good interview is the one with her friend. Her friend, that's a brilliant interview, that one is. Her housemate, really. And I felt so bad for that woman. But we'll listen to that one as well. What day are we on? Thursday? Friday? Could do that maybe tomorrow. If I can find it again. But anyway. So we are going to watch. And it is long. But we're not going to watch it all. Because literally for the first three hours. <laughs> there's. Nothing, right? I will show you what it is.
Rồi This is what it is for like three and a half hours Rồi He's sitting there, he's lying there He's <laughs> Right If he was talking and saying something I'd be, okay, what's he saying? What's he talking about? But he doesn't say anything It's a shame, he's so tired. You have to feel sorry for him, don't you? I just slap myself and wrap some sense back into my head. No, we don't. No, we don't have to feel sorry. Right? So that's why it's like for like three and a half hours. And the, it, the video itself is like five hours, 54 minutes. We're not watching all of five hours, 54 minutes, just to see him. It does. You should be able to. I'm trying to make sure I get, I don't miss anything. Doesn't he look old? He's only 37, but oh my god, he looks old. Oh, leapy boy. They come in soon, I think. It was sometime today. Sometimes here we go. Um, so being that you're here, we're here, you were taken here by detectives, I just need to get this out of the way just so we can talk about how we're... Before we go any further... Where she may be, okay? okay? All right. Before we go any further, I'd just like to acknowledge Grizzly True Crimes for this. This is her video. So, where is it? There's a link. So, it's Grizzly True Crime, right? We've got whose video it is. So, thank you, Grizzly, Gisela, or whatever name. I don't know. But I do subscribe to her channel, and she does some fantastic work. So, if you haven't already, I keep saying this, go over and subscribe to her. She's got video after video after video on this case. She's got all the paperwork, the videos. Everything. Anything you want to know, she's got it. Okay? So please go over to Grizzly True Crime. She's fabulous. She's the best. She don't get up in... She doesn't get messed up in... Which I'm trying not to. She doesn't get messed in... Pulled into all this drama. No. She's not, she don't have none of that. Right? So. Let's carry on. Have you ever been in trouble ever, ever in your life? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever had your rights read to you at any point in your life? I must have. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm going to do them again just to get it out of the way, and then we can talk about school and stuff like that. Okay? All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, want to be appointed to represent you before any question. Before any questioning, do you understand these rights? Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so before we start talking, one last thing: Can you just raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm that the statement you're about to give is the truth, nothing but the truth, to the best of your knowledge, will help you God? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's talk about. Uh, your so we have silent we, we just talked to jennifer a little bit so because it's mentioning names or like whatever where'd you meet her uh 
remote work. Where was that at? Uh, we worked for a home building company. Um, it's no longer in business, but uh, we were both in the uh, call center area. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, selling homes or? Yeah. Believe me, it's not me, it's the redacted bit. They've silenced it. You lived in Kissimmee with them. Because I know Jennifer says she's lived in Kissimmee for years. Yeah. Um, off and on for years myself. Okay. Any family that lives in Kissimmee? Uh, no. Okay. Um, so, on and off, how long do you think you lived in Kissimmee? This stretch, two or three years. Okay. Um, Jennifer kind of mentioned that, you know, then you move back to wherever your parents live. And where is that at? Oh, it's in Northport. It's down by Sarasota. Okay. So on the West Coast. Yeah. Got it. All right. Um, so we had a birthday recently. She had a birthday party Sunday. Sunday, right? Sunday, yeah. Okay. So, did you come to the party? Uh, no, I was not. I was on my way up at that point. Okay. Um. So the party ends. Did you pick them up from the party? Someone must have dropped her off. Okay. Uh, she was there when I got there. Jen asked me to make sure that. And Sharon did her bedtime routines, which she did. She was already on top of it, so mm -hmm. nothing to do there. Okay. Uh, what time do you think you got back in Kissimmee? Uh, what time I got into Kissimmee? Yeah. Uh, maybe 8 o'clock, 83 or something like that. And I apologize if you've answered these questions before. Uh, it's just like I said, we're coming into the game late. So I may ask you things that you've already answered probably three or four times. Well, I apologize, and I apologize. As well. My memory is not super reliable on time frames. I've been medicated for the better part of a week. Okay, that's fine. What do you think medicine for? Uh, anxiety mostly. I've been having some money troubles lately. I'm anxious over that. So. Okay. Well, hopefully your money troubles get better. I've been medicated. <laughs> that. Hopefully your money troubles get better. Yeah. All right, so when you got back, when you yeah, got, you got to the apartment, well, it does need money, but not long. What happened, like? Money, money. Uh, made some dinner, made some ramen. I don't know how I made my ramen. Uh, uh, then we started watching Sister Act, but it was time for her to start getting ready. Basically, just as we were starting Sister Act. Okay. Um, it's just about bedtime. We, what time is bedtime? Usually 10, 30, 11 ish. Okay. Like it's, okay. it's, a, it's a spectrum, not a set time. Mm -hmm. Then, so who's going through the bedtime routine? Because I know Jennifer says she has somewhat of a little routine too that she does. Is it her? Are you talking about? Uh, Jennifer's routine is. Taking her meds, eating some food so that she can have the proper calories for the meds. Uh, and then she's got about an hour to do whatever she needs to do because she needs to fall asleep at that point. Okay, gotcha. Uh, her bedtime routine is taking her bedtime meds, uh, brushing her hair. She should have showered that night. Uh, and then she goes to bed as well, usually with some bombs or something on in the background. Oh, got it. Um, what are the sleeping arrangements? Uh, he sleeps in. Okay. Um, the, did she sleep in her bed Sunday night? Uh, no. Uh, I was just back. I had been away for a couple months. We in the same bed together. So mm -hmm. um, we get some serious sleep. So she said no to that and suggested that the guest room upstairs had a big enough bed. So some snuggle cuddle time that that would suffice and Jen get to sleep in peace. Okay. So you say snuggle time, what what does that mean? 
like to be alone. She is extremely dependent. She does not like to be alone at all. She needs human presence around her. So gotcha. We've been trying to wean her off of that, but and I bet when you first met Jen, and then she introduced you to Madeline, and she told you how Madeline sleeps with her because she likes to have human contact. You thought, yep, I'm in here. You know what I mean? Yep, I've got it now. P.O.S. I think he's on his way down too to help. Gotcha, okay. Um, Last I heard. All right, so Jennifer says, well, so I'm still with time with you to help her go to sleep. Is that right? Just bedtime, yeah. Bedtime, okay. Um, did you stay in the room the entire night? Uh, not the entire night. I'm usually up and down sometimes. Um, so. I might go grab a drink or something, or I'm up and down sometimes. Gotcha. But you stayed, you didn't at any point go. Okay. All right. So night goes on, morning time comes around, and the school. Walk me through that a little bit. <laughs> oh, God, it's so tired, isn't it? Oh my lord. Morning routine. Wake, she usually starts waking up. We set about three alarms. Um, first one goes off. Like we keep snoozing. When they walk at night, uh, do you remember what time her alarm in the morning? What? How's she going to cope? Not really. Maybe 7, 7.30ish. I'm not okay. sure. Um, alarm goes off. We let her snooze about three times um, while we start getting ourselves ready. And, after the third snooze, uh, it's time for her to get up for real and uh, start getting ready. Uh, typically, she will have showered the night before, uh, so she needs to brush her hair, brush her teeth, excuse me, um, get her book bag together, uh, eat some breakfast if she's going to eat there, um, and then we eventually make her way out the door. Um, so walk me through, like, you go, you leave, you take her to school, in your car? Uh, yeah. Okay. And what kind of car do you have? Uh, it's a Lincoln. It's actually my parents' car, because my car is, um, down south. It needs maintenance, and we're scared of driving too much. So I'm driving a Lincoln right now. Um, Got out early. The plan was to get some McDonald's on the way. So we got out nice and early. Do you remember what time you left, roughly? Not, not 100%. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. My memory has not been super reliable. No, that's fine. But it was, it was early. I'll get some to eat. Um, get some more milk. Maybe. Maybe 7.30, something like that. I'm not sure. I, I'm honestly not certain. That's fine. Um, was, was Jennifer awake when you guys left? Semi-awake. I was giving her updates as we were going along. Uh, getting ready, she's getting dressed. We're leaving now. Bye. Um, but she was sleeping in, so I was just giving her little updates and poking my head in as we went. But we leave the house, uh, we start making our way to the school. Most of the time, we make our way over towards our school area. I ask her if she's still in the mood for McDonald's. She says, no, she's not wanting it anymore. Okay. Continued on. Uh, it was still pretty early, though, I think. Um, we still had some time to kill. Uh, it wasn't really time to drop it off yet. Uh, I had apparently forgot my clicker key fob for the gate. Uh, so I ended up actually turning around at some point and 
going back to the community to get the clicker. Um, I had to use my parking sticker to get in for the guy to scan. Um, I took errands to run afterwards. I don't know why that my fault. Um, it was uh, plenty of time as far as I knew. Um, so I did that, grabbed the clicker, left again. And that's when we drove over to her school area and I dropped her off where I dropped her off. Okay. You remember where you dropped her off? Yeah, it was um, the stretch of road, I forget the, the street name. It was the stretch of road that the school is on. Um, we can ride on to it. It goes down a little ways. There's some, some communities over here. And then up further, there's a church. And then there's the overpass and the school on the other side of the overpass right there. I uh, dropped her off on that stretch where the communities are. Was she by herself when you dropped her? Or was her friends there? Yeah, she was by herself. She said she was going to go find her friends and hang out with them and show up. Okay. Um, it was still early. Where did you go after that? Like, did you see her walk towards the... Uh, I saw her making her way towards the direction of the school, but she was like, kind of shuffle step. She was meandering her way there. She was rummaging through her backpack for something. Uh, I assume she was looking for headphones, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but as it turns out, she did leave her phone at home that day, so she might have actually been looking for a phone. Gotcha, okay. What was she wearing when she left, when you dropped her off? Uh, green hoodie. Um, black shorts, black or blue, black sh black shorts, um, white Crocs. White Crocs. Okay. Um, all right, so she's walking towards the school. Do you continue straight when you leave? Or do you turn around? I turned around and went back the other way. I was watching her in my rear view mirror. And she was going the right direction, so it looked okay. And where did you go after that? Uh, the next stop I wanted to go to was the vape shop. Uh, it opened at 10, so I had a little while, so I just kind of meandered around and eventually made my way over there to wait for it. Yeah, it opened at 10, right? You heard him say. And you even heard in the other interviews he did with the police and they said well if it opened at 10 why did you go at like quarter to nine nine o'clock in the morning wait a little while then leave and come back like why didn't you just go home knowing it wouldn't be open till 10 i'd have just gone home or i'd have gone to some other shops and then gone there on the way home you know what i mean i'll jump Right, so, sorry, that was my TV, that just come off mute, strange, but it come off mute. Now, so, we know he's lying, he didn't even go anywhere up by the school. I've got the pins on the map, he didn't go anywhere by the school, I don't believe, so, I will do, I said last night watching the other video, like I will do a video of where he went that day, right? I've just got a few other little places I need to put down so that we can see where he went because he was here, there and everywhere. Like the flipping jack in the box, anywhere but where he should have been. Right? to open. Um, they didn't open when it was supposed to, so I left and came home and went back about an hour later when I was sure it would, would have to be open at that point. Um, got what I needed there and, and made my way back to home again. It must be killing them to take them to sit there and hear all this BS off him. It must be killing them. Seems like any other morning. It was when you got back home after school. Was Jennifer home at the time? Uh, 
think she was on her way home. Um, I think that she had had a blood appointment and we were both kind of going to arrive. Oh, that's changed again. Because in the one police interview, he said Jane was home when he got home. Uh, uh, no, Jane was at a doctor's apartment because at 10, 19, you text her. Right, she so didn't get home until about 11, 15, 11, 30-ish. Right, very shortly. It's changed again. Um, so when you got home, when both of you got home, what? Walk me through the rest of the day. Just walk me out, chit chat, and then you know, it's not much to recollect. But you stayed at home pretty much all day, or no? Uh, pretty much until maybe noonish or one o'clock. I had a few errands to run, um, but I wanted to be back in time for us to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just ran out. Up and down 192. I ended up getting a flat at some point, which made me late to get. Where'd you get a flat at? Uh, somewhere along 192. 192 is a big road. It is, and honestly, it all looks the same to me. Mm -hmm. So I've been asked, do you remember what plaza you were next to? What color? And I'm like, I'm ADD as it is, and I was in the medicated fog for the better part of the week. Not blinding ideas. I can't remember what color. Anxiety I and lack of sleep um, do you remember what errands you're running yeah i wanted to go check out some game shops um, where were these game shops uh there's coliseum of comics there's house rule games nearby uh, a lot of the targets of walmart's carry the game i was looking forward to we just had a new release on friday so I, even though i don't have much in the way of money right now i still want to look and see what what the situation it's always nice to window shop it is I'm a um, yeah. serial consumer. He loves window shopping, okay. Um, so I was just driving around up and down 192, sort of just aimlessly, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just killing time till it was time to go back. All right, so when you got home, did you and Jennifer? from school so i got home it was oh, 10 minutes later than jane had wanted to by 10 minutes i called her and said hey where are you i'm so sorry i got a flat um, she already left she had been gone for 10 minutes it didn't make sense for her to come back and get me um, she likes to be the first in line um, when the kids start coming out okay then wasn't at school. So what happened? Did Jennifer call you after that or what? Uh, I was already on the phone with her while, while she was waiting here just chit-chatting. Mm -hmm. um, we do that. We just keep each other company even if we're not physically together. You know? mm -hmm. started asking questions you know did she go somewhere else did she know that you were going to come pick her up did she possibly go to her office which has kind of been what she's been doing for the past working a new schedule um, so we started making all the calls um, no one had seen her yet and so that's when we started getting a lot more concerned and panics um, She drove around a little more, looking for her, looking along the walking paths, and didn't see anything but her. Not there, waited around, not there, went back to the school, not there. Uh, at that point, the whole family started rallying up and going to meet and, uh, I think that it was around that. Going back to school, uh, how was she like on the car ride there? Calm down, sleeping. Sleeping on the way, she does that. Hold on, did you say she calmed down? 
started asking questions, you know, did she go somewhere else? Did she know that you were going to come pick her up? Did she possibly go to her office, which has kind of been what she's been doing for the past working a new schedule. Um, so we started making all the calls. No one had seen her yet. So that's when we started getting a lot more concerned and panics. Um, she drove around a little more, looking for her, looking along the walking paths, and didn't see anything but her. Not there, waited around, not there, went back to the school, not there. At that point, the whole family started rallying up and going to meetings. And uh, I think that it was around that. Going back to school, uh, how was she like on the car ride there? She calmed down, sleeping. Okay, it's like she calmed down. Sleeping along the way, but she does that. She calmed down and was sleeping. What? I don't get that. So was she upset or something before? You know what I mean? Why would she say she calmed down? That doesn't make sense. Plus, we all know she was dead in the car. She was on the road. Right? But why would you say she calmed down? That means to me, perhaps there had been a bit of tension in the home before leaving. You know what I mean? Which we all know is untrue. How often have you? <clears throat> how often have you? Uh, not often, honestly. I, this might have been my third or fourth morning school run. I'm not normally the one to do and it. And on the other occasions, has she had you drop her off in around the same location, or how does yeah. that? She uh, she has this image thing. I guess it's. She only likes to be seen getting out of certain cars in front of the school. But it's, I guess, kind of a hoopty, and she's in Paris. Right? Like it? Uh, nice, nice looking Sentra. So, yeah, it's, this is not the first time she's asked me to drop her off uh, a little ways down so she could walk up and you know, look cool. So, you say she was conked out in, on the way there. Mm -hmm. um, you said you took her to school, or you run away to school. You need to turn around to get your clicker. Correct. Was she sleeping then? Too? She was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it had been an early morning, so I figured it'd be fine to let her sleep in the car ride. Okay. Um, when you got back to the apartment complex, or the Did you go in the front gate or because I know there's the front entrance and then the back entrance? Uh, when I came back after forgetting my phone? Yeah. So uh, which way did you leave? I, I would have had to go in the front. Okay. Um, and the guy scanned it. And I got in and got my fob and left. I don't remember if I left out the front or the back. Did you stop anywhere else in? Not that I recall. Okay. Um, did you take any trash out from the apartment? The night before, I think I did. I'm not sure. I took I, I took took the trash out at some point, but I don't remember if it was the night before or it was the morning of. Yeah, sometimes we get trash bags piling up by the door to see them. Is there uh, like a common trash place or like is there a like trash too? Yeah. Right. Before we go any further, do you remember he said he, when the when they literally pulled him up on this at 10 past 8, they seen him heading back into Kissimmee. 
And he said, oh, I was heading back to the apartment, the complex. And I said, what for? And he said, for the clicker. Well, we all know by that security guard that the security guard said he had the clicker on him, but it wasn't working apparently. So why did he go back to the house? Why did he take that chance on the security guard seeing Madeline in that car and realising maybe she was dead? Why did he go back there? Right? He parked up outside the house. He's gone in the house for a few minutes. So why did he go back to the house? And I just thought about it then while I was getting my milk and my food. I think he realised he didn't have her ever... Um, shoe and that's why he went back to get the other shoe but couldn't find it it was in the bedroom where Jane was sleeping okay is that where you took the trash out yeah okay um and you don't remember if that was Sunday night or Monday morning? You could have been Sunday night. I don't recall. I'm sorry, I was in the fog. Um, well, okay. So, Supposedly they got video of her um, walking past the church or waiting at the church for a while mm -hmm. and then leaving. I'd like to know who that person was that was seen walking past, stopping by the church and walking past the church at that time in the morning. You know what I mean? In what looked like black shorts and a green top. We haven't heard of any other mother coming forward saying, that was my daughter, I dropped her off. You know what I mean? We haven't heard nothing like that. So who was that person in the green top, the black shorts, walking past the church or through the church grounds and heading towards the school? How's your relationship with her? Great. One of our favorite people in the world. I edit too much out, I think. Okay. Um, how old are you? I'm 37. About to be 38. You seem like a... I'm 58. And man, you look older than me. I'm 58 and he looks well over, older than me. He looks like in his 60s. <laughs> Sorry. Genuinely nice person. You're trying. Uh, Jennifer talks very highly of you. So, the morning school, when you came back, get your clicker, what was your? So, the same thing, I think she was just asleep. She was just reclining in the chair, sleeping. Okay, ex explain to me, like, reclining backwards? Thank you. Laying back in the chair, mm -hmm. like that, I guess. Okay. All right. Stuff on here. I'm gonna be. I'm too old to lie to people. Too old. Too old to beat around the bush. And we seem like we're having a generally good conversation right now. Okay. Uh, the only thing that I ask for from you is. And I will reciprocate. I want you to be honest with me as much as 
as I'm being honest with you. Okay. There's cameras in all over the place, as you can imagine. Nowadays, cameras are everywhere. Okay. Uh, so we see you coming in at the guard shack. Okay. Um, we see you go by the dumpster. Mm. Okay. I may have taken some trash with me down. What was in the trash? House trash. House trash? Yeah. Um, so it must have been that morning then. Um, we'll toss trash bags on the back seat. Wherever we're going on our way out, we'll drop that on the way. Mm -hmm. Take a I may have mentioned to her. Check. Okay. Was everything in trash bags? I'm sorry? Was everything in trash bags or was there any no, items that were just tossed along with the bag? Um, I think it would have been in trash bags or maybe some boxes too. Okay. Some, some birthday stuff, leftovers. Um, I can't remember exactly what. Okay. Did, when you for school, did she have her backpack with her? Yes. She did. Did, you, did she have her school computer with her? Yes. Presumably, yes. Presumably. Okay. She sh should have. I... Once again, this goes back with the whole honesty thing. There was things in that trash bag that got thrown away that probably shouldn't have been thrown away. Okay. What? We'll, we'll get that in a minute. But right now, our main focus is um, finding that is our number one focus right now. Okay. Do you have any idea where she may be? No. None whatsoever. Liar, liar. Okay. Thanks, right. fire. Um, do you know? Okay. And sounds like. And. Oh, just stop being on the bush and tally. Something may have happened. Do you think anything? I don't think so. I don't think what could happen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do you know anybody that lives in St. Cloud? Do you know where St. Cloud is? St. Cloud, that's. South or east, east, east of Kissimmee. Yeah. I haven't been out there too much, but yeah, I'm familiar with St. Cloud. Okay, whereabouts in St. Cloud? Like, do you know friends out there, or uh, I don't have any friends really. I've driven out there a few times before, but mostly just when I'm didn't that Mr. Santa? live out by St. Cloud Way, somewhere, round that way. I think, right, because of what he was doing, I think, as well, he was connected. This is just my opinion. Don't go out saying, oh, crime and justice just accused Mr. Santa being with Stefan Stearns. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, it's my opinion. Mr. Santa, that's what they all called him, Santa. Because he had the white beard. Why? Right? I believe he was arrested for CP. 
right? And his son, who was also involved, killed himself. Right? So it just makes you wonder, it makes you stop and think how many of these vile peace POSs are in the area. And you don't know until they are caught. Right? And a lot of them just get a, a smack on their head, especially here in the UK. We've just had a case with uh, a BBC presenter, another BBC person. BBC is a TV channel, right? Which we have to pay a TV licence for, which I don't. So I don't watch BBC. I think it's crap, right? And this presenter was a presenter on the news. And he admitted to having child corn videos and pictures, right? He admitted to it. You know what he got? You know what he got? Two years, no, six months suspended sentence, sentence for two years. So suspended for two years. Six months, he could go, if it hadn't been suspended. Six months. But he didn't get a that. He got it suspended. So that POS walked away without doing one day in prison. Whereas we got people who put, Okay, what they put on their Instagram accounts and their Facebook accounts, they shouldn't have done it, right? They shouldn't have said it, right? Or they shouldn't, you know what I mean? They shouldn't. But they've been sentenced to like 15 months, two years, three years. And this, that POS, the BBC channel presenter, news presenter, walked away scot free. Tell you why? Because of his mental health. His mental health only started playing up because he got caught. That's all. It's disgusting. Me and during up and down 192. Were you out there this week? Yeah. Yeah, I was out there sometime this week. Um, sometimes I drive, just drive and meander around and explore. And drive till I don't know where I am and drive till I'm know where I am again and I don't know, just driving just it's peaceful sometimes. I must admit, I think if I was a driver, which I can't, I can't, I couldn't have been able to drive a car now if I wanted because my legs seize up on me and I can't move them. So if I'm driving, I can't even brake the car. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't be able to drive. But if I was a driver, and I, there's many nights when I haven't been able to sleep. Many nights. Right? I'd get up, be in my PJs, put my coat on, and go for a drive around somewhere. You know what I mean? I wouldn't get fully dressed. I'd just go out in my PJs and a coat. And go for a drive somewhere, around the city centre, anywhere. Right? I wouldn't go too far. I wouldn't go out of of where I where I live, because that's where you're going out into the countryside and fields and whatever. I wouldn't go that far. I'd just drive around the 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 town itself, the city itself. All right. If I got time to kill. I'll just drive around. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're saying when she had her backpack, mm -hmm. presumably her school computer was in her backpack, mm -hmm. and you described her wearing a green jacket, some kind of dark colored shorts, and white crocs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can confidently tell you she did not go to school with her backpack. That's because we found it in the trash. Last guy is a tension. You think you so, Stefan, here's what I'm asking you, pleading with you, is to dig down and do 
some soul searching. Okay. Do you understand? Family's pleading with you. I'm pleading with you because this is all that we need to find. And it's as more time goes around, goes by, it's tough. I have kids, he's got kids. And this little girl's out there somewhere that. And you of them like POSs. Oh. I remember once when I was doing um, my counseling skills access course five years ago, they said, when you get on a bus, what do you, and you've got to go and sit down, what do you do? And people go, well, I look for two seats that are empty so that I don't have to sit by anyone. And hopefully no one comes and sits by me. Right? She said, so you look around and you go, no, nope, don't want to sit by them. No, nope, no. Nope. You know what I mean? So you're judging that person by the way they look. I thought, well, yeah, we are, aren't we? We are judging that person. Because you do not know what that person, who that person is. And I hate if anyone comes up to my grandkids and starts, nope, back off. Back, especially if it's a, a man, back off. Right, back off. I know that some of them are only trying to be friendly. But no, don't come up to my, my grandchildren, please. Because I'm likely to thump you. It's nowhere. And I really, really, really think you can help us. Okay. I mean, you want to get something off your chest. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm not pleading with you. I don't know. See, this is very cool. You dropped Jane right in it if you wow. wanted to. I dropped her off. Where? I dropped her off on the road to school. That was the last I saw her. Okay. Did, sometime throughout the night on Sunday, did you guys have any interaction, conversations? I wish you wouldn't wear that hat like that. Fight? No, no, I'm not saying fight. I'm just... You guys sit up and talk, or we talked while I was making mom. She was excited about her choir performance coming up. Uh, she was singing a little bit. I told her it was pretty. It reminded me of Sister Act. That's why I wanted to show her that movie. I think when she phoned him on the Saturday to see if he was coming on the Sunday, I think she told him something. Like she, she probably thought she was pregnant. Right, and that's why he had that big anxiety attack on the Saturday night at his mum and dad's. Right, he then left on the Sunday to go over. Yeah, and I think they've had a chat before the mum coming. Yeah, and he's gone. Look, we'll talk about this upstairs. We'll sort this out. You know what I mean? We'll sort it out. Don't worry. Yeah. But then, when they've gone upstairs, she's come around and said, no, I'm not having this. I think I'm pregnant. I'm going to tell my mum. Boom. That's enough for someone like him to kill her. I mean, no, uh, uh, a hydroid or whatever bone in the, in the neck was broke. So that shows strangulation was out of place. So it shows strangulation. And as Jen said in the interview yesterday, how could you kill someone without leaving any any sign? It had to be an overdose or strangulation. So, but I'm thinking, was she pregnant? Because I did not battle the mum about that on her interview yesterday. 
the interview she gave on the Friday before the Fanter. So questioning the mum hard on that. So I'm thinking, was Madeline pregnant? And did she say so? Or did she say to Stefan, look, I've got, we need to talk. I've got something to t talk about when you come down. You know what I mean? Not telling him what, just saying, look, we need to talk. And then he's come down and she's gone, no, not yet. Mum will be home soon. No. But we need to talk. Because she could afford, this is a guy who's shown her attention from a young age. And it could have been, she could have thought she was in love. She's 13. Young girls don't know about love. Christ, I was 20 something when I met, I was 19 when I met my husband. He was 13. Right. Some people might think, oh my God, he's only 19. He was 30. Right? Yeah. He was 11 years older than me. And we got married. I had my son in 19. 1990. So we got married in January of 1989 and I had my son in 1990, a year later. Literally, just under a year later, I had my son. Right? But to be honest with you, I was 19. Did I know what love was? No. No, I didn't. Right? And to be honest with you, I still don't know. I'm 58. I still don't know what love is. I don't want to know no more. I'm fed up with it. She's talking about crushing on the boy. How'd that make you feel? Fine. She knows she's not old enough to date, but mm -hmm. I told her to crush on. Oh, so she's not old enough to date, but she's old enough to do what you was doing to her. That's a bit hypocritical, isn't it, Stefan? Telling a young 13 year old, you're not old enough to date. And she's thinking, but you do this to me. You love me. You know what I mean? And we do all this stuff together. So why can't, can't I date? Because he didn't want her to be with anyone else. Do you think, has she had any boyfriends in the past? Not per se, you know, boyfriends as however they can be mm -hmm. early on, but we decided that she was too young and needed to avoid that BS. All right. Being that she's too young, so she shouldn't be having sex with boys. She's, uh, she's, all the that stuff, none of it, none of it counts, none of it's real. I just thought she'd be better off waiting till high school. Mm -hmm. Has she ever talked to you about boys? A little bit sometimes. A little bit. Has she ever, because I asked Jennifer the same thing, has she ever disclosed to you about being sexually active with boys? No. Do you know she's ever been sexually active with anybody in the past? Not that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. um, I heard there was some sort of incident when she was much younger where she did something with the phone or a camera but got scolded for it. She was very young. She didn't know. She got scolded for it, though. But that's, that's vague. That's just remembering what someone said off. All right. Um... What happened to him? Flat tire. I haven't changed a flat tire in about 10 years. So I made a rookie mistake and had my thumb too close to where the jack and the frame meet. Mm -hmm. And it slipped and the frame came down on my thumb and pinned it between the jack. What a shame. I feel like I got off surprisingly. Let's like get the violins out, everyone. Oh, You've got yeah. your little mini violins. You it free. You're not supposed to do that. Um, it's okay. Got the worst of it. Just losing under the nail. Mm -hmm. What about the other scratches? 
uh, courtesy of a janky tire iron and the road. Did you bleed at all? Yeah, this one had some blood and this one had some blood, but not much. It clotted fast. Do you know what popped your tire out? No idea. The tire just started going flop <clears throat> and then pretty worn really out floppier something. and then just completely freaking separated. Thank God we had a spare and a jack. Jinky as it was. So typically when changing a tire and stuff, you tend to get brake dust and dirty and all that. Yeah. Did Posit you happen to positive that I uh, breathed in some freaking brake dust or tire dust or something because I was coughing the rest of the afternoon? Would you end up doing a cleanup or stop the bleeding and stuff? Nothing, actually. Just you didn't get too dirty. Wash my hands and that was it. Did your clothes get all messed up at all, or not bad. Surprised me. What were you wearing? Much uh, this. This. So still wearing this. I'm still wearing the same clothes. How's oh, so you kept wearing? Hanging off. You just wearing a red shirt. Try to. Yes. And then you changed it when you come home. You weren't wearing a red shirt? Uh, he was wearing a red shirt early in the morning. Uh, but I changed clothes later because that shirt was in a couple of days old at that point. Now he's been wearing them clothes since Monday afternoon. And the entire happened after that. No excuse for the poor hygiene. Uh, after. After. after it was sometime after sometime afternoon between between noon and like 2 30. Mm -hmm. i don't know how long it took me to fix it and you but, changed your shirt before or after going back to get the gate clicker um, I, I don't recall maybe after I can't. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I was medicated. I've been medicated all week. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about medication. I'm medicated. I'll do that. Right you know, piece of shit. You know, I was in a fog and half asleep that morning as it was. Well, people are keen. Or on her own when you took her to school? Uh, yes. What are you thinking about? I'm sort of spacing out here. Long day, no sleep. Who else has access to your car? Are you the only one that drives it? Um, well, my parents have access. But here in Kissimmee? Here in Kissimmee, I'm pretty, pretty much the only one with access to it. So safe to say you'd be the only male driving that Lincoln? Presumably, yes. All right, I want to get back a little bit to you saying she's not allowed to have boyfriends or anything like that. She can have crushes. She likes them. Mm -hmm. All right, have you and her ever exchanged, like, do you guys exchange text messages? How do you guys communicate? FaceTime. Um, she'll FaceTime me at night when I'm not around uh, before bedtime to say goodnight. And I'm talking. Sometimes I don't even talk about anything. We'll just sit there doing our own thing and just with each other's faces on the phone. Just spending time, you know. What happened? So the deputies made a comment. So what happened to your phone? I have no idea what happened to my phone. I was pushing off doing this update for a while and I ended up trying to do it. I don't know what the hell my head being in the state it was. I wasn't paying attention. I ended up somehow doing some sort of option that um, updated the OS, but it ended up like wiping my phone at the same time. Even just now, the, the phone that my dad gave me and set up for me, I literally just pulled it out of my pocket. The sucker was reinitializing it. Mm -hmm. So I don't 
know if it's just me and technology right now or I'm just not paying attention or did that happen once to your phone or uh, how many times do you think you updated your phone? I think I tried it tried to update it twice and I don't I don't know what happened. And from what I understand that you gave the deputies consent to look through your phone. You did? Okay. Um, and you voluntarily gave it to them so they could bring it here to do the extraction and stuff like that. Okay. What do you think was on the phone? Uh, text messages. Text messages. Mm -hmm. Emails. All that stuff. Pictures. Yeah. What kind of pictures were on there? Uh, training card pictures, lightsaber pictures, Disney pictures. Do you have a Google account? Yeah. Do you save pictures to your Google account? Sometimes. Or is it automatically? I know sometimes phones sync to a cloud and yeah, I, I think it I think it backs up to Google. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes when you reset uh, your phone and your phone updates and puts these apps back on your phone, sometimes they will put the images back on your phone. I'm not sure. Okay. Do you have any oh, I assume so. I mean, pack pictures of you and probably. I mean, we went to Disney, took selfies on the train. She got back from Puerto Rico and had her hair braided. We got pictures of that. All sorts of pictures, family events. I'm not as much of a shutter bug. Take her every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Any other pictures you can think of? Here's where I'm going to be brutally honest with you. There's your phone. And I'm pretty sure you know what some of those pictures are about. You're, you're a very intelligent person. And I don't want you to discredit yourself by saying you don't know about all the pictures that are on your phone. You understand what I'm saying? So do you want to add to the list of pictures? Should I be talking with a lawyer right now? I can't answer that question. I'm my sole purpose right now is to see if I can find and I'm really hoping you can help me. Okay. Well, I'd like to try to help, but I feel like I should probably have a lawyer present at this point. So you're wanting an attorney? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That can happen. Um, I want to let you know you're not free to leave. You're being detained. Okay. Do you want to know what you're being detained for? Yeah. Capital sexual battery and possession of child pornography. So you're gonna step out if you need anything. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with that child porn saying. It's not child porn. A child cannot consent. If you're an adult and you're getting paid for doing these videos, like they do have these adult movies, they get paid, right? That is consent. They've signed an agreement, they get the wage, the payment, whatever, and they do what they have to do. That is consent. They have consented to that, but a child cannot consent to being 
S I R I P E D or S B. Right? They cannot consent to that. So I don't agree with that saying child corn. I don't. Thing, please tap on this door. Okay. And there's gonna be detectives outside that will be able to assist you. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Mr. Sh is it Stearns? Yeah. Stern. 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 He's thinking, I'm a dunger. I'm done for. You thought you deleted them all, didn't you, by doing the, what was it, reboot twice? No. They're a lot cleverer than that, the police are. Especially when you told him, oh, when he asked about how come you got no contacts on your phone and all this stuff. Is that usual for you? And you say, oh, it's just that I did a, a reboot by accident. Uh, no, you don't do a reboot by accident. You don't. So as soon as you said that, I thought, he's hiding something. You know what I mean? And you know what? I seriously, I still think, Jen, knows more she maybe not was wasn't involved in the young alive but she knows something and she don't want to acknowledge it because like that detective said yesterday if she acknowledges it it makes her look like a bad parent well you're a bad parent anyway no well, you are a bad parent you should have let the father have custody of your daughter She'd have had a great life with her father. His life revolved around her. And that's for not having any contact with it. Because he lived in Texas. I don't know where that is compared to where they live. I should imagine on the other side. Right. She had to get a flight, a plane to get there. You're not supposed to use them inside. I think they can make that. I think they can make it. Because you're not supposed to vape. I'm sure you're not supposed to vape. Right, I'm just going to speed this little bit up because. Right, because there's no talking, so. You just speed it up just a little bit. What is going through his head now? They found your bag. They found your laptop. And some other stuff that was in the bag. I seriously think he went back at 10 past 8 to get her other shoe. He probably thought, oh God, have I dropped it on the pathway when carrying her to the car? You know what I mean? didn't think about looking in Jen's room where probably the dog picked it up and put it in there because it, it was over where the dog used to lie so I think the dog picked it up and took it over into his little bedding area, his nesting area. I'm sure I can take that vape off him. Okay, can I get that beep? Thank you, appreciate it. Yep. Good one. You're not supposed to be vaping. Oh, my Lord. You see, if he really wanted to, he could have dropped you in it. He could have said, 
Oh, he says, how can you hang out? Yes, I put that stuff in the car, in the bin. But I was how can you hang out? Yes, I moved her body, but I was how can you hang out? You know what I mean? But he didn't. But I don't think Jen knew about the unaliving. But I think she knew something had happened afterwards. And she just does not want to admit it. She's blocked. She's put to the back of her mind. She's not coming out with it. So I'm going to really fast forward this bit. I think I can only go to two. Yeah, I can only go to two. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. So I have speeded this up a bit. I think we're going into what are we going into now? I'm only 119, 119, so we're okay. This is the interesting bit. The bit before was boring. Because he thought he covered his tracks, you know what I mean? But now he knows what they know, right? And the fact that he's asked for a lawyer, an attorney or whatever you call him, he knows he's up the river without a paddle. He's up the creek without a paddle. And like I said in my title, drop them, blossom. Because that's what he has to do very soon. Drop them, blossom. That's the same we have in the UK, in Birmingham. Drop them, blossom. I don't know what it refers to, I really don't drop and blossom them because if you drop something you're going to break it or make a mess or something, aren't you? So, no, what's that? No more water left for you. What a shame. No water, no vape. Oh, my love, what are you going to do, Stefan? You've been caught out. You've had your charge read to you. You haven't been handcuffed yet. So, what are you going to do? I'm wondering, you know, when this goes to court, and it will. Because they're going to try and get him off that death sentence. Unless they come up with a deal. And if they come up with a deal where he doesn't have to do the death sentence, then I will be fuming. I will be fuming. And if I was the mother of that girl, I'd be fuming. I'll be going, no, no deal. He, he essayed my daughter for what, four years and more. He unalived her. Hid her body. Now, what makes me wonder is, like, you know, on the Monday night when he went out in Jen's car, right? He was in that area, in that same area that he was seen earlier that day for about half an hour and when they had the dogs come out on the Monday, Tuesday I think Tuesday night, Monday night, Tuesday the dogs hit on Jen's car boot now that could mean okay they might, they might have had something called Madeline's in the boot you know what I mean a shoe um, a blanket anything called Madeline's could have been in the back of that car bit of that car and that's why the dog hit, hit on him but why would you use her car to go back to that area right spend half an hour there because he had her out of that house before 6 7 because that was when sunrise was so we got her out of that house before 6.47. So any time between, I don't know, 11pm and 6.47 that morning, on the Monday morning, he got her out of that house. And he put her in the front of the car. 
it's taking a chance that someone out walking the dog at two in the morning or three or four can you see he took a chance that the woman i know because at 7 30 was a pile of beans right so that woman the housemate didn't leave till 7 45 or 6 45 i think that woman left at 6 45 i'm not sure i'll have to go back on that we'll listen to that video but he's taking a chance having her sitting in the front of that car you know what i mean when she's going take going out at what 7 30 or 6 30 or 6 45 or 7 45 if it was 6 45 then he's taking a chance that she can see his car but then again she wasn't looking for that car she was looking for she went she was him in a different car but his dad gave him that car to use to come back down to kiss me because his car he had was run to the ground wasn't you know what i mean he did a lot of work on it so the dad and mum said use this car you know so he did So she wasn't looking for that car. She didn't even know Stefan was there that night, so she wouldn't be looking for his car. Even if she knew what car he was in, she would not have been looking for that car. But where did she park her car? That's my question. Where did she park her car? Because he parked his car right by... Yeah, let's go to the car. Just go over Google or for a bit while we're sitting there. I'm going to share this tab for a second. Uh, oh, mom. Nothing's going on at the moment. Uh, the things has been uh, Oh, again. Now let's change hats, right? Don't worry about the video, I'll tell you when anything happens. I've got the sign, John, so you can still hear the sign.
Nej. Come on. Nej. Right, now we know Jen used to park her car here or here. Now, did he park his car there, there or there? I'd say that space is free. He could park his car there that night. Either there or there. So where did the house make? <coughs> park her car. Hi. Look, that's a lovely area to live in. I would love to live somewhere like that. Okay, you've got no personal garden. You know what I mean? What do you need to garden when you've got all that space there? So that's where she lives. Right. Where she lives. Hold on, I'm going to try and stop it before it goes any further. Those were the two front bedrooms, which I should imagine were the housemaid's bedroom. Yep. You could go up the stairs and and uh, whatever. Those are the two houses. And then. I'm not good to do this. Uh, let's try it again. So you've got the two house mates pet rooms on the front and then not the biggest silly piece of right I wanna go back and over and round oh god right so well, I'll give up I give up. This map is doing my head in. Anyway, let's go back and see what's happening. No, it's falling asleep again. And I'm quite on the. I'm going to fast forward yet a little bit. Ah, here we come. Right, just leave that now. Come on, young. Hold on, hold on. Right, hold on, I've got to slow it down, I don't know. Right. So, we'll slow it down a little bit and just go back because he's reading the charges. Right, so let's just run it from here. Because they're coming very soon. You want to hope you get the DP. Because with DP, you get a single sound. It could take 20 years and more. But if you go in general population, oh boy. Don't bend over. I forgot, you don't like having showers, do you? You haven't had one for three days. You haven't had one for Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. You stinky little POS. Yeah. 
can't believe he's admitted to not having a shower since from Monday. He didn't have one Monday. He come in after knowing that Jim wouldn't be there. He's maybe washed his hands because of him changing the tire. And changed his shirt because we know he had a red shirt on. But on the evening he had a blue shirt on. Stefan, so what's gonna happen now is we have a warrant to collect a couple of items from you, okay? So basically this young lady here, we're gonna swab your cheek, you know, we're gonna take some of your clothes, stuff like that, okay? Humiliation, uh, yeah. So she's going to take everyone. some pictures of you as well. Humiliation. And very soon. We're actually going to take your jacket off so we can get your arms and all that stuff too, okay? Well, you won't be seeing that again, will you, sweetheart? Nope. They've got by to that jacket, but you won't be seeing that. They've got a nice new outfit for you. I'm sure it's all you. All right, so in the name of the state of Florida, all right, any sworn Kissimmee police officer, Osceola County De uh, Sheriff's Deputy, Orange County Deputy, sworn investigator of the state attorney's office of the Ninth Judicial Circuit Court of Florida, special agent of Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FDLE, or any sworn police officer, deputy sheriff acting under mutual aid or cooperation agreement with the Sheriff's Office of Osceola County. Whereas before me, the Honorable Judge, uh, it's hard to read his handwriting. Um, of, the, uh, of the Ninth Judicial Circuit of Orange County, Osseo County, the sworn written application of David search warrant has been made on this date by Detective Moore of the Kissimmee Police Department um, assigned to the Criminal Investigations Division. And whereas the facts made known in this application and search warrant, um, there may be cause to certify the and find probable, co probable cause to believe that certain evidence to wit uh, DNA, genetic material, buckle swabs from you, Stephen Michael Stearns, blood, saliva, um, or epithelial cells to be collected from you, Michael Stearns, photographs and swabs of your penis, and clothing worn by you uh, as of right now. All right, this is evidence, this is believed to be evidence of the felony crime that we've already talked about that took place in Florida, um, which is a violation of statute 794-0114-B and 8270715A, prohibiting the crimes of sexual battery, possession of material, depicting sexual performance of a child. Currently exists within Orange Nacio County um, and is pres uh, presently believed to be under your control, Stephen Michael Stearns, and that the law relating to said offenses are possessed on you, um, who is more specifically desired below and then it has your your name and date of birth and social so Stephen michael stearns is your first name social birth 425 1986 and you're a white male black hair brown eyes 62. <clears throat> now there now therefore the law enforcement officer named above which such lawful assistance as may be necessary are you are here commanded in daytime nighttime or on sunday as the agencies as the agencies of the situation may require to enter and search the above listed person that we talked about earlier um, with the taking of the dna material buckle cells through a buckle swab which is which will be done by the appropriate personnel and will involve no unreasonable intrusion into or upon the body of you michael stearns uh, for which the evidence is to be collected the person and evidence requested is reasonably believed to be engaged in or connection with the said illegal activity we talked about earlier um, for this evidence described in this warrant and in the same of any part thereof to be found, you are hereby authorized to see, secure, collect, photograph, examine, anal analysis, and videotape said evidence in this search warrant. All right, after we're done, a proper inventory receipt will be given uh, for any evidence or property seized, and a completed duplicate copy of this search warrant will be delivered to you 
um, in control of the property search or in the absence of any such, we will leave a copy of what you're here today. So we'll give you a copy of the search warrant. All right. Um, and then it just say, it states that we have to do the search warrant return within 10 days after uh, executing search warrant as of today. All right. This will be your copy here. So go ahead and stand up. She's going to go ahead and take some pictures of you. You can stand just in front of that. I think they're very polite. Go ahead, stand up. Back up. Stand by that wall now. I can be protected or police officer that really could be. And if you could put your hands out like this and turn them over. Do you want me to take out this watch? Yep, it'll work. Yep, you won't be seeing that for the next for the rest of your life, Mike. You don't need it. And your hat also, please. Might well just tell them to give all that to your parents. Really, what do you think is going through his leg at the moment? If you could open your mouth. Don't get too close. He hasn't had a wash. Probably hasn't wished his teeth. Even with three days. Oh my lord. Don't get too close. Okay. You're going to be cold during a minute. Oh, like really humiliating me up. Honest to God, I was got some payback on him. Got a payback. Got a You know what I mean? I can't talk, I've got, a, I've got a couple of tires, at least one tire, when I sit down. But where's the muscle? There's no muscle on the bed. Okay. Yeah. Your shoes? Yeah, it's very old. He's not been taking care of himself really quick, I think. Oh, 
could you get a really good picture of this right here? This whole area. Who's the right one? Uh, it's probably under the Yeah, I just want to make sure. Okay, that area too, please. Can you take one like that, please? Hey, Gerasi. Okay. Uh, did you get a picture of this car on the front? She got a full front yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, I can tell him to me. Don't try not to let the pants touch the ground, please. What's this in this pocket here? Just your wallet? Yeah. Lift your foot, please. You got it. I'm surprised it didn't put like paper on the floor for the gang Um, We need to search these again before you take them to make sure that there's nothing else in there. What do you have to do? I just want to make sure that we search these again before she submits them. Is there anything else in these pants that we need to know about? Um, yes, we Right, now it's, you can see her putting in a pair of gloves on. Right. Now, to me, that's possible cross contamination because she's putting them on with the other pet hand, which has been holding the camera. Right. What she should have done, like I used to do when I was in care, if I knew I had a person who had, like, um, like, we'd have a shower, so you put gloves on for that. We'd have creams put on, so you put gloves on for that. We'd have to get them dressed, so you put gloves on for that, right? So you could have about three or four pairs of gloves on. And after you gave, took the shower, you literally get the one finger of the hand, of the other hand, pull it off, right? And then literally get your little finger of your other finger and pull that glove off and pull it into a ball so that the only thing that was being touched was the cuff the cuff area and that was only slightly by your little finger What bag am I going to set these in? Oh, no, we need them separate. You need them separate? Yeah. Can you get another brown paper bag from the drawer? Um, what we're going to do when we take off the boxers is I'm going to take them off. He's going to stabilize you to make sure you don't fall. I don't want the boxers touching the floor at all, so I'm going to hold them up. You'll remove one leg at a time, just like you do your pants, okay? Oh, we're going to be taking the boxers. I'll be and triple gloving, six gloves on, five gloves on, you know, I'll be having so many gloves on, six, ten boxes. We're just waiting on one more bag for your pants. We're trying to keep you. He hasn't had a shower in three days. So for a short time as possible. But her gloves you. are really thick compared to the other. This lady here, her gloves are quite thick. All right, ready? He's going to stabilize you. Go ahead, first lay down. I'm going to take the belt out of here and put it in the belt. I've got my okay, leg. Second one leg out. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I'm going to 
parking because the one they've got in moves about all over the place. So that one stays on him. Alright. All right. So we don't yeah, really see anything. anything so we need to find and we really don't want to steal. Don't do anything, squirrely man. You will eat the carpet. Do you understand? Squirrely. 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 Squirrely.
because I wondered what that was when I first seen it. What is that? And it's just just dying in front of the camera. Yeah. And definitely they had a Sure, we'll, we'll get these photos and I want to make sure there's a the last one at hand or still uh I'll I'll study you. He's gonna help you out. Are you want you want me to do it in the stadium? The front of that. That's the front. So that's the front, yeah. So all this supplies from the twenty eight. I think that's it they're putting in, it's like a paper thing. Should be like a flip spot in there if you want it. It's a one D, yeah. Oh, hold on, let's wait a second. Yeah, as long as it's right, it's not very good. Okay, let me, sorry, we just need to look at your hands again. I just, yeah, I look, know, you see, she hasn't changed her gloves, right? Sure You're here a lot like, when she says, I'll go out and get my gloves changed. And he's handling his hand, after handling that tea. Right? Who wants to see inside? What was the pattern that you needed at the end of the Right there on the right side of the cuticle. This? Yeah. Are we doing finger swabs? I don't think it was in there. No. Is it Yeah, I didn't see any other injuries. Okay. Right, I mean, it was in the left. So you guys have everything you feel like you need? Yeah. You want to just have a seat for a minute? Let them take a here. Let me pull it out for you. Let them take a look at the photos. Make sure we have everything, so we don't have to make you do all this again. Which which one? And yeah, she's got a handle. Let me hang it. The right hand. The left one. Is this thing holding the tape? It's the wall for me, so I can see. Right. Got a handle. Let me hang it. This one's too tight. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Give me a favor, have a seat. Let me swap my gloves because I don't want to touch my See? collar while in these gloves. Okay, I'll I'll gloves. Just go down the width, change your gloves. I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Um, it's your head. Right, stand up on the clean What means it? She's angling. The handcuff. I just want to make sure that main line is uh, after she's been holding it. You know what I mean? The main line on the wrist is seen. All right. 
Good, move forward, spread feet, wide, 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 more, 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 as you go, so just like that. Is that better? Is that still okay? Yeah, okay. All right, have a seat. She's very smart, too, so let's get her opinion. But yeah, we're going to. Uh, I am I don't know if they come back in afterwards. You've just been so humiliated there, mate. And I've got no pity for you. Reading his charges now. Hmm. You thought you got rid of it, hadn't you? You thought you got rid of all that pictures, all the videos, everything. You forget the police have got technology where they can go back years. And when you stand there and you say, Well, I accidentally done a reset, oh. and you uh, part with your. No, I'm just going to zip it up all the way. Can you send it to me? I'm going to try to cover you as much as I can, okay? Is there any way to have my arms through the holes with me? No, sorry. Just get you the claustrophobic like this. We can leave your chest exposed a little bit. It's more just my arms being. Yeah, yeah it's not going to change. It's, it's not a part at all. This is his copy. Um, yeah. Last sip of water before you go? Uh, yes, please. Yes, okay. please. Thank you. And this is, after this, this is where we're seeing him being brought out of that building. We won't go on until we get it done. Would you like some more? Go on. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, head out there just wait with her. She'll get you a little bit more water and then I'm going to check this room and get out of here. Come for me. And that's it, guys. That's it. Right. So <coughs> <coughs> thank you to Christy True Crime. She took one for the gang the group for us. She's seen all those photos that they took. All of them. So but he must have been so humiliated, so embarrassing that is, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do I feel sorry for him? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't feel sorry for him. I never will feel sorry for anyone like that. You think they've got the right to do what they want with young children? These children, right, he may have pictures and videos on there of other children. We don't know. Right? Just think what was, how those children felt. It's disgusting. It's not cool. It's R-A-P-E. They cannot consent to anything. So don't call it child corn. It's R-A-P-E or S-A. Right? It's disgusting, and I wish they wouldn't call it child corn. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys.
and gals so i hope you've enjoyed watching this if you're watching it on replay please give this video a like and i will see you next time until then stay safe